Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. We are coming at you from Glacier National Park. And what a park it is. And folks, one of the things we want to encourage you to do uh, as we go through this video is there are going to be things that uh, you can either let ruin your trip or just say it's part of the journey. And there were two things on this one. One, it's been overcast and a little bit drizzly both days that we come in to explore the park and the other is um the going to the sun road <laughs> we got started out we were going to go just past lake mcdonald and go up to the waterfall and a little bit further up to a trailhead we didn't want to drive all the way across and all the way back that's just you know we have nothing, nothing. Yeah, yeah. We have nothing to prove. She would have been nervous driving, and I would have been I would, nervous as a I wouldn't have necessarily been nervous driving. I just wouldn't have gotten to enjoy the view, yeah. and so that's really kind of the deal. So we decided we weren't going to do that. But today we got started driving up there, and we did get to the uh, Lake McDonald. Uh, lodge area yeah, yeah. and we drove around through there and we went back to the Sprague campground and today's the 22nd of September and the lodge was closed <laughs> and the campground will close at noon on the 28th but there at the at the campground there's a picnic area to the right they have a ton of fresh yes. water faucets there which is really what we were doing and then as we pulled around we saw there was a little trail to the lake and it was beautiful yes absolutely beautiful um and so we were able to get out and enjoy that um but there's nine miles along that lake <laughs> that uh it was just dirt and gravel and ruts and rough and folks we have a heavy van we have a lot of stuff in here and i'm not gonna take it real fast so there were times we had a number of people behind us and there are no turnouts. Yeah. Because all the turnouts, of the construction. All the turnouts had the construction equipment in them. And so when we got up to the lodge, we decided we're going to tap out because we didn't know how much further we yes. could go. And nothing to tell you. And know where to turn around. And we didn't want to get started on um, that Road cliff to sun, part. Yes. If it's going to be muddy and... I'll just show you the van you know it's it's <laughs> it's not its cleanest <laughs> um it was pretty clean before we started up there but folks this is when we're here yes we got out we explored we drove through some campgrounds we got some beautiful scenery the fall colors are really coming in and so yeah it's part of the journey and it's part of what we're going to remember about glacier national park is uh you know this is when we're here and this is when we're here to explore and so this is what we saw and we are very glad we're here now because i think like on the 28th more things will close and i'll just go on and say that was just kind of a god thing when we pulled when we went in the first time i think to yellowstone we mentioned the ranger was from a town that's less than an hour from where yeah. we live uh, and told her we were coming on up to Glacier and she said oh, as long as you get there by October 1st you should be fine <laughs> by the 1st of October but we just took a couple a day or two off of each section of Yellowstone yes. and so that got us up here a little bit earlier and I'm glad and already they've had snow warnings warnings for winter weather at 6,000 feet or above and do want to say if you've been hearing a dog whine, he's fine. He's in his crate. We brought him out exploring with us today, and that's just, you know, what you And do. he's happy as long as we're he going. He is. He's, <laughs> he's fine. He's, we just didn't want him pulling around, jumping around while we're, while we're filming. But this is a beautiful park, um, and it's, once again, one of those. What we're showing you is basically what we've seen yes. from the van. Um, and I do want to say Lake McDonald was crystal clear. I mean, and gorgeous. I know people, Big lake. <laughs> people say Texas has the dirtiest lakes and I'm sure we probably do, but we got a lot of them and we can get out on them year round. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
uh, this water up here, I mean, you can see rocks. It just, oh, it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And if you're from the north, you may even get down in there with sandals on. <laughs> it, I felt it. It wasn't that cold. But anyway. It made me that cold, <laughs> and I just heard about it. <laughs> It is absolutely beautiful up here, and whenever you can come in whatever part of it you can see, I think it's worth the trip. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching Two Tired Teachers. teachers.